it's easy to think about how a ball changes velocity as it go faster and faster. So for example, let's say a ball starts with a velocity of um, say 2 meters per second and after maybe 3 seconds, uh, let's say because uh, someone is pushing it, its velocity has increased to uh, perhaps 8 meters per second. Then we can say that the change in velocity is uh, uh, re remembering that we need to, to to think of velocity as a vector and therefore uh, uh, let me say that the direction to the right is positive and to the left is negative. I can say that the change in velocity, the change in velocity is the final velocity which is 8 so I'll I should call that a plus 8 because it's going to the right minus the final velocity which I'll call plus 3 because it's also going to the right uh, oh wait plus 2, yes. Okay, so 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 meters per second. And the difference is also positive, so the, so the change is also to the right. Now that's the change in velocity. So it's, it looks simple because since uh, the velocities are both going in, in the same direction, it looks as though I'm just subtracting the two numbers. I'm just taking the bigger number and subtracting the second number. Now, but what if, what if, um, we have a situation in which the direction of the velocity actually changes? Now, let me, let's try and imagine such a situation. Suppose that, uh, this time, This time, right, uh, let's say that's my table again. Or maybe it's the ground this time. Okay, that's, that's the ground. Now suppose that this time, I hold a ball at some height above the ground. And I throw it. I'm going to throw it horizontally with a velocity of 2 meters per second. Well, what, ha what happens then? Well, the ball flies off my hand. It flies and flies and flies and flies as it falls. Okay, so it falls because the, the force of gravity is pulling it down and as it falls its direction changes. So after maybe a fraction of a second, it would already be pointing, moving in a different direction than the one that I threw it at. So suppose that after some maybe half a second, let's say I'll call that half a second, the velocity uh, the speed, the new speed is say 8 meters per second, but it's pointing in a, a, a completely different direction. In this case, what is the change in direction? What, what would be the change in velocity? The change in velocity this time, the change in velocity Right, the change in velocity we have to find again by taking the final minus initial velocity but this time because the velocity is a vector we need to well actually just now the velocity was also a vector 
and we treated the vector, we took that into account by using plus and minus sign. But this time, because it's not just along a straight line as before, it's it's sort of it, it's in two dimension and it changes direction. Okay, we have to use the proper way of subtracting vectors. Now if I if I um if I call let me give this some name if I call this V this uh, final velocity vector V with an arrow and I'll call this starting velocity a U with an arrow okay um, now let me uh, let me not call this 8 meters per second for now all right uh, it will be some um, speed that uh, I have not calculated. So in so anyway, in order to find the velocity change this time, I need to do a subtraction of the velocity. So the change in velocity should be it should be the final velocity v with an arrow minus the initial velocity u with an arrow and I must do this I must find the answer by actually subtracting the vectors so let's see how we subtract the vectors now if you recall when I have two vectors in this case u and v I can do it by treating the, the, the um, each vector like an arrow uh, that I can move around as long as I keep the directions fixed so I'm going to take these two arrows and move them until so that the 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 tails the tails touch okay. so this is how I'll draw them that's my V and that's my U and okay, now the tails are touching and that's u and that's v. Now to find the difference, to find v minus u, we use the triangle law of addition. The triangle law of addition uh, means that we need to draw a triangle of this using these two vectors as the sides and I need to join I need to join the u vector u to vector v and that is the change in velocity now this seems to be rather abstract okay this seems to be rather abstract well it's not as obvious as the the first example in which we just looks like we just took the difference between two numbers and it's a simple uh, increase in, in, in that number. In this case, we have a change in two dimension and I end up with a vector which is pointing in a different direction and the length is not just a simple uh, uh, difference between the two lengths. I, ha I have a length like that. Now, the it seems a little bit abstract and strange but we'll learn the reason later on. Um, when we learn uh, about forces, right? We'll and Newton's law, we will learn that the change in velocity can happen when there is a force. So in this case, we do have a force. Uh, we do have a force, and that is the force of gravity which is pulling the ball down. That's that's its own weight. Okay, and this change in velocity, this change in velocity, is a result of the weight. is caused by the weight, and in fact, we will learn uh, when we, uh, in Newton's laws that the change in velocity is actually in the same direction as the force. 